So I farmed up some Twinkling, I farmed up large Titanite Shards and a few chunks as well. Um, I think my first order of business is, is I'm just going to head down to um, Daughter of Chaos, and I'm going to just uh, just dump my souls into Pyromancy and buy expensive spells, because, I, again, I don't want to... I don't want to inflate my souls level. I've tried not to do that as I've uh, as I've farmed souls. Well, I haven't been farming souls. I've been farming Titanite, but I've inadvertently gotten a bunch of souls with the uh, the symbol of avarice, avarice, whatever it's called, the treasure chest head. Can Havels be upgraded? I thought not, but if if you tell me it can, I I would believe you. Giant set goes to five. Havel can't upgrade. So where are we going today? Demon runes or catacombs? Um, I'm between demon ruins or the DLC. We are right by the demon ruins. Is uh, is demon ruins like a really big commitment? Because if it's not a lot of time, I might just knock it out and then go to the DLC and then uh, and then catacombs <clears throat> and then the end of the game. You can upgrade Havels from zero to zero. <laughs> I will let committee decide. How about that? Within five minutes time, let me know if you want me to play the DLC or Demon Ruins. I'm definitely gonna, I'll probably just do the Catacombs last. Two for DLC, three for DLC. Four for DLC. Ah, uh, truth. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's. Oh, do they stop? Do they stop attacking you when you're talking to this lady? Okay. I like how we have to come all the way down here if we want to. I would. Just level up our pyromancy. Well, we could certainly afford this now. Nice. Okay. So, I, I, does that mean we're maxed out Pyromancy? Is there another Ascension level? Ruins suck. Do the ruins first so you can get the bad stuff out of the way. <laughs> Save the glory for the end. Um, We can get... Great Fireball. Let's get all the stuff we don't have, basically. Now go. Whatever you do, do not crack and go hollow, lest my time spent on you be wasted. Oh, give it a rest, lady. Ah, uh, I... Does she have anything else to say to us? The Witch of Isolith. Please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers. Wow, so this is this a this is a daughter of chaos. Pyromancy is the Okay, we don't need to hear this again. Um mm -hmm. let's just homeward bone. The rush? So yeah, so she's a daughter of chaos. So there's a daughter of chaos here, and then there's uh the fair lady and then Quelog who we killed. Uh what did I say I was going to do? Well, you know what I'm gonna do is I want to finally level up my Zweihander. And to do that, I'm going to go to... the Giant Blacksmith, because he's a Lightning Upgrader. So I'm going to try to level up a Lightning Zweihander. So we have a couple votes for the Demon Ruins first, but it looks like DLC has won by committee. So we will do that. Get the soul of a proud knight. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I suppose the question was uh, for people who who know where I am. <clears throat> so saving Solaire is one of those things I've read about, but again, I have, I don't understand the context of it because I haven't played it. So I think 
you open up some sort of shortcut if you're if you level up your covenant with daughter with uh, the chaos the chaos uh, covenant whatever it's called something of chaos the people of chaos ow don't shoot me bro please Please don't do that. This man firing upon me is the worst. I don't need to kill these things. <clears throat> That's why I have so many souls. Because when I'm waiting when I was waiting for people to summon me in, I was watching I was watching a movie. And just mindlessly wandering through this area and resetting the enemies and killing them over and over again. So that's why I have so many souls. Oh, I thought Azathen was actually <laughs> actually here. I see. It's Butane Boss. Hello. That's the... Which way is it? Isn't it? Isn't he over here? No, he's up here. Oh, I'm sorry. The game audio is quiet. I turned it down because again I was playing I was just I was helping people kill Ornstein and Snow and Smo <laughs> and Snow uh, while I was watching a movie last night. There we go. Is that better? Should be. Kill Guinevere. So my plan is once I go through the catacombs I'll get the ring. So I can join the covenant <clears throat> at first, and then I'll uh, and then I'll turn Anorlando dark. And again, that's another thing. Similar to saving Solaire, I don't really understand what's what will actually happen. I just am saying the words, but don't fully understand what will happen. Uh, just I've just read about it. There we go. But that was mostly so I could plan a trek through the game. Okay, so... I am going to... Well, okay, a couple things. I'm going to do two things. Number one, uh, I'm going to level up my Falchion. Because I want to get Quelog's Fury Sword just for fun. Uh, let's level up this Y Hander. Oh, you know what? Do I have to go to Andre to do this? Can this guy modify past plus five? How do the. I don't know how the blacksmith's worth. Modify. Aw, oh, man! Yeah, we're gonna have to... Ugh, that sucks. We're gonna have to go back to... To the other blacksmith. I've not finished the DLC. Um, while I'm still doing this, some upgrading here, now is the chance if uh, you can put in a vote for if you'd like me to go to the Demon Ruins or the DLC. The DLC, I think, has uh, four or five votes compared to two for Demon Ruins. System requirements for the game? Um, I don't actually know. I, I'm probably well beyond it with my current rig, so you probably just want to look up on the uh, on the purchase, the digital purchase page for the game to get an idea on what the minimum requirements are. Do not start the boss battle in the Demon Ruins or Solargo's Hollow. So I was under the impression you can kill two bosses and find him. You can get to him in a. Um, you can talk to him at a bonfire as long as you do not enter. Lost Isolith, then he's fine. As long as you don't see the words Lost Isolith come up on your screen. And again, I've not been here yet, so I don't know what that means, but what I had read was definitively, you can talk to him somewhere. He's at a bonfire, and if you move past the bonfire, you enter a new area, and that determines his plotline. So you could talk to him, and then as long as you turn around at that moment, he's okay. I'd just like to go to the bonfire, please. I don't I should just run. What am I doing? I mean, I think my issue with no matter where I end up going is I, I do feel overgeared or overleveled regardless of which one I go to. So, I suppose there's that.
<laughs> Good old Jay Barino wanting to upgrade everything. Yeah. No, I just I just picked these two these two items specifically because this is what I this is what I want to upgrade. So we need to get a plus ten Zwei hander if we want to make it um, to level ten. Same with the Falchion. Falchion. Okay, cool. And then we modify... Only the giant blacksmith can make quay logs? Or can we do it ourselves? I don't know. I'm still getting used to the equipment system here. So now I think we have to go back, back to the giant blacksmith in order to get a boss weapon. And also the lightning weapon. So we'll make one more run here. I'll just run by things this time. How about that? This is like gothic horror styled RPG. Hmm. I don't know about... Well, horror is an interesting aspect. It's horror, it's horror in a way that when you enter a new area, at least this is my experience. When I'm entering a new area, even though I go in with some knowledge like, here's how we can save Solaire, I don't know what enemies are there, I don't know where they're placed, I don't know the environment, I don't know where there are traps. So just going into an area where you know you can be killed very easily, but not knowing what's around the corner, is definitely an aspect of a survival horror type game. Um, what it's, it's more of an RPG though in the sense that resources are not scarce. I would consider something more horror, survival horror, when there are very scarce resources. And in this game, you can farm anything you want as long as you're willing to devote the time to do it. So I've been farming Titanite only because I don't want to do it on camera. I don't want to waste people's time by farming Titanite on camera. Um, which has resulted in me, I think, getting too many souls. But again, I'm not, I'm not dumping them into soul level. So no souls that I've farmed... Um, have accidentally ended up in soul level. I, that's, I think that's pretty important to me. Alright, we're going to electrify the Zweihander, and we are going to make Quaylog's Fury Sword. Um. Oh, whoops. i got to do this first. Okay. Because I've been waiting for an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got a Lightning Zweihander. Quaylog's Fury Sword, baby. There we go. This is Titanite Chunks. We should have enough. Oh, it's a Titanite Slap. Okay, well, maybe at the end. Um, we, this, finally we can use the Demon Titanite we've been looking for here. There are three Titanite demons that I know of that I could still track down and find. Okay. We gotta check this out. I'm not strong. I need, uh, two hands. Let's go. Oh, we're fat rolling. Oh, okay. Bad start. Bad start. Okay, that's a little underwhelming, but that's probably because these guys are resistant to lightning, if I had to guess. Let's try Quaylogs. Oh, baby. So Quaylogs, if my... Let me check this. Yes, it is a chaos weapon. Like Quaylog's body, the sword features shell spikes and a coating of chaos fire, power affected by wielder's humanity. And since we've been rolling through this game with a lot of humanity in general, I think this will be very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's alive. Okay, see you later, buddy. Level 10 broken straight sword. Let me check if I have one. Does the longsword work for that as well? Or will that turn cursed? Because 
Soul of Sith, I don't know if I want to make the shield or the sword. I don't think I need another sword, so I think I might make the shield, but you're talking about the sword, which is the broken straight sword. Um, in any case, well, you know what? Let's go and kill the Titanite demons before we do anything, because I want to level up my Fury Sword. It's got an essential Jabarino quality. Fire! <laughs> Crystal Felshian, let's go! I get the impression crystal weapons are just sort of a joke. Like nobody makes them. Or maybe they're used in PvP. I'm not sure. Only the broken ones lead to uncursed. Okay. Um, I am going to kill that Titanite Demon. That's our next stop. Maybe I'll use the Lightning's Y to do it. Are these guys... I don't know if these guys are immune to lightning, though, so this might be a mistake. Oh, and we're fat rolling. We gotta... Um, let's go Havels and see if we're, we can at least slow roll. I should be careful. He can probably hit me through the door. Okay, that's good. If you're doing a no bonfire run, you're, you're not fixing weapons anyway. That's a good point. Let's get around him. Or not. Okay, we're in a good spot now, I think. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, he needs poise. He didn't have the poise. Uh-oh. That, well, couldn't dodge that. I was already swinging. That's the problem, though, with this weapon is when you're committed. If you're committed to a swing, you just get wasted. Tried to run out there. That's okay. We're right by the bonfire. Hey, Azathan. Good to see you. Glad to see you made it past the archers, yeah. I, uh, I guess that's a super challenging part. I definitely did get lucky. Uh, for the first guy. Um, but then I expected that people would say I got lucky, so I'm like, fine, I will... I will go and kill the other one. Specifically to show that I can kill one of these men on a ledge. That was tough. Still roll side sword. I was just thinking, eh, let's just try falling and see if we don't die. But then I realized that I have to go and get my souls. Killing Guinevere makes half the enemies in An Orlando disappear. Yeah, so again, well, I'm going to do that um, after I do the catacombs. So probably right near the end of the game. Because I want to at least join the Covenant first before I, before I am unable to even join it. Hello? Goodbye. Don't worry, Baldur's Side Sword will still be featured. I think any time I have to fight a boss that requires, like, fast rolling, quick movement, it's gonna be Baldur's Side Sword. Um, I'm gonna go rest at this bonfire, just because I can't warp to it, and their run back would be a lot faster if this thing kills us again. I just took that right on the chin. Bring back the Gargoyle Helm! The Gargoyle Helm seemed fairly balanced, that's why I liked it. Alright, just, 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 just... I'm really, I have to get in the zone of just running. That's one thing I have not done enough of. Just, just run to where you want to go. Except in this case, where I think we are going to have to kill these guys, else they'll chase us the whole way. Use broken sword, <laughs> plus ten. It plus ten. I imagine it's still. It, it's not terrible. I don't know though. I imagine if you upgrade something enough, it, it wouldn't be that bad. So I farmed large titanite, but I still might not actually have enough to do all of the upgrades that with all the boss souls. I'll uh, I'll try though, and I can. I should probably once I recover my souls, I'll probably have enough to just buy a bunch of it. I imagine there's people that do, like, soul level 1, no upgraded broken sword hilt, beating the game, something like that, you know? 
Zwei seems like a good choice against this thing. It does go down a lot faster. Unless it's weak to fire, then that would be a better choice. Let's just lure it to the door and hit it with some fire first. Uh-oh. Wow, our chaos does a huge amount of damage. Holy shit. That is massive. Oh, I'm happy with that. Very happy. We might just be able to kill him with pyromancy straight up. Well, okay, maybe not, but it'll be close. Uh oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I was in the doorway. I was trying to roll out. <sighs> plus 15 broken straight sword. It's funny. You level it up to plus 10. You're like, well, I could make the Artorias sword. Or. Or. We go to plus 15, baby. We go. I'm going to make a, a raw. A plus five raw broken straight sword. That's true meta right there. That's like galaxy brain Dark Souls. Now that's a lot of damage. It's funny how after all this time, I've struggled the most with the boars. Those two boars before the Duke's Archive and Titanite Demons. Compared to like the bosses... Ornstein and Smo was fun though. That was fun. I uh, I don't know. Is there an NPC? I think people told me there's is. I think Solaris summonable for Ornstein and Smo. Um, would have been. Um, I feel that would cheapen it a little bit, unless you're co-oping with another person just for fun, or like it's. But like your first time, I feel like it's like a requirement. You really should play. Um, you really should try to beat them by yourself. He says, after only playing this game once and barely beating them. Well, I wouldn't say I barely beat them. I did a pretty good job. Oh, God. Escape? I hate these Titanite demons, especially when you're forced to fight them in such a small arena. Because, like, I, I want to get behind him and swing away, but with a slow weapon, it's, it's like, surprisingly difficult. I don't know why I didn't realize, like, I can just... I can just block his attacks. The only one I probably can't block is when he leaps. I don't know what I've been thinking. Oh, we got the weapon. Two Demon Titanite. Thank you, Lightning's Y-Hander. Co-op takes away Faith by five. Oh, for the, the Solaire Covenant. You're right, yeah. Okay, um, you know where else I haven't been is the Great Hollow. I haven't gone in that tree yet. I'll do that later. Um, so if there is, a, if I can get one more Titanite slab, you know we're leveling up that Zweihander to plus five lightning. I assume when you're leveling elemental stuff, it only goes to plus five. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're gonna go and kill the other two. Or try to, at least. I played all Dark Souls in co-op. Yeah, that's- I think it would be fun just do it playing through entirely co-op. And because your souls are halved, aren't they? Like, you get less reward for playing. Like, I think overall it would be really fun. It's just hard to coordinate with people. Uh, Timing-wise, it always is, is challenging. Like it would be, it would be cool to play this. Like I know Azathen is played separately. It would be cool to just do like a full playthrough with him or or Deltron. I don't know if he'd be interested in playing this. But Jay, what's your favorite boss so far? Um, I really liked Ornstein and Smo, only because that was one where like I really, really had to learn how to play it. Like, it was not, uh...
it was not an easy fight. And I thought that was great. And it's one of those where when you do beat it, it's like super satisfying. Like the feeling I had when Smo had like 10% health left and then he killed me because he jumped in the air. Oh my god. But then being able to beat him soon after. Awesome. What, um... Man, super great sword. I actually picked one of these up when I was farming so I can drop this. Um... It's in my bottomless box. What is... Everybody who's watching who's played, what is uh, what is your favorite boss? So, um, well, I guess just... Even if I haven't played it yet, let me know what your, uh, what your favorites have been. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy on the bridge. Just so he doesn't drop down and try to kill me. If they put Ornstein and Smo in a room that small, you probably would have died a lot more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That is sure. That is for certain. Uh, okay, so here's the problem. I need to wear the rust and iron ring down here, so I might take some armor off. I'm not sure. Can I just drop on these guys and... Okay, well, one of them's down. I don't want these guys shooting at me constantly. There we go. Oh, I didn't know these guys had a, a drop. Flamberge. Flamberg. My favorite boss is the Four Kings. Yeah, Four Kings seems really cool. Like, the concept, like, it's like a DPS check. And you have to figure it out that it is a DPS check, and then you just go ham on, on them. It just seems awesome. No! <laughs> Good start. Don't jump again, you piece of shit! He did jump again. I hate Titanite Demons. I hate them. Really? Garbage. Don't jump. Just don't jump. If we can even just kill one of them, the other one will be no problem because there's a lot more room to maneuver down here. Oh yeah, one more. Pyromancy, baby! Got him. That other one, I think, just had more health. Like, the further into the game you find these things, it seems like they just, they have more health. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm gonna Zweihander this one, or try to, at least. Don't get cocky. I think the reason I was fat rolling, though, yeah, it's because I had, uh, it's because I had, uh, a shield. I don't need a shield. Well, I should use a shield, but let's try our new Lightning Zweihander. I hate that move because he can hit you with his weapon and also his body. Don't jump. Don't jump. Our pyromancy honestly does a better job here, so... God, the reach on that is absurd. Nah! Instant kill? I assume he hit me with both his body and his weapon. I genuinely hate these things. <laughs> They're the only things that I've been struggling with so much. That's Dark Souls, baby. <laughs> Jabo hates everything. If Jay thought Ornstein and Smo was hard, LMAO? Aren't they considered, like, the hardest bosses? I mean, I didn't say... I'm not saying that they were, like, abnormally challenging. I just said it was rewarding to beat them because they have patterns that you have to learn. That's, kind of, that's like, the joy of the game. For me, at least. He will enjoy the lost Isolith boss. I have to kill these guys, otherwise they'll follow me through the whole thing. Please. Wait, lure him into the trap! Ah! Uh, uh, what?! Tactical trap. I can one-hit them! 
with us with an R2 attack. These guys used to be so scary. Fuck out of here. All right, let's go get our souls back. You know what I have been neglecting is upgrading health. That's uh, I've just been dumping all my stuff into into DPS. I don't know if this fall would kill me, so let's just. We would have lived. That's okay. Oh, I also upgraded my Estus Flask to plus four. And I also gave the Embers to the respective blacksmiths when I was playing last night. So Estes do so much more. There we go. You know what? Let's see. Let's just see how this goes. Let's try... Let's just try shields. Well, let's avoid. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just gonna take the hits. I can also try Quaylogs. I'm actually curious how much damage Quaylogs would do. Let me. Let me. Let me try. Now that we know that we can just use our awesome shield. God! <laughs> Rolling backwards doesn't work! That's de that's good. I assume I'd need way more humanity to make the chaos damage really shine through here. <laughs> it's like unavoidable. If he hits you with it square on though, you're definitely dead. God, the reach on that is absurd. No! <laughs> so dodging backwards, not the, the not the key for the jump. There we go. So which direction should I dodge to avoid that silly attack? There we go. There's our demon titanite. Let's get out of here. Pinwheel is the hardest boss. No, Sorian says, I beat Pinwell my first try. No wonder I can barely remember him. Um, here we go. There we go. Now I got a level 5 Fury Sword. We could change this. Um, so I think that's all of the Lightning Lords up until this point. I don't actually know what I should put on at this point. Poise, baby. It's always poise. And let's start rocking Quaylogs. Ooh! That's awesome. Okay, so to get to where we want to go, the fastest would be... I think Undead Parish? We, even though we were just there? Jay always names everything Lords. Yep. <laughs> Quaylog Lord. Fire Sword Lord. That's us. Shirk Lord Stick. <laughs> That's got a ring to it. I think with honestly with the with the um the wolf ring, 86 poise. That's pretty damn good. I don't think we have enough Titanite chunks to level up our armor anymore, but I feel very comfortable with our current set. Um, what I don't have that I would like. I just want to see what the R2 is here. What I don't have that I would like is a gear set that allows me to fast roll. Uh, that's upgraded. I guess that's not really, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to allow me to upgrade it, I suppose, but I would like to be able to upgrade it. Yeah, poise is one of those stats that I, I don't think I would have even learned about unless chat told me, so I'm grateful there. Um, just, it's just like a little stat that you have to scroll through two pages of other stats to even see.
And in terms of medium shields, I feel like if I got any different shield, I wouldn't be able to fast roll. Unless may maybe with Havels. So that's why I, I do really like the shield, unless someone has a different suggestion for like a medium weight shield. Oh, I went the wrong way. I am such a clown. If you're an ultimate build god, you can even fast roll in giant's armor. Wow. I assume you need very high endurance and, uh, and havels. And, like, uh... I, are there... Is there other gear that increases equipment load? Because that would probably help. But that would mean you're replacing one of the giant's armor gears. You need so much vigor for it. I think vigor is... Vigor is a, is a Dark Souls 2 stat. It's all just... Endurance in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I think they're, they split out the stats differently in Dark Souls 2, so that'll be neat. I assume they tried to take the time to balance it a little bit more. Or try to, because it seems like endurance is very is a very powerful stat, because it's your equipment load and also your stamina bar, and your stamina bar is like the most important thing. It seems like uh, we're going into the lake, right? Dude, this rusted iron ring has gotten some serious usage. The only non-ring that boosts equipment load is the mask of the father. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Hello. I thought they were immune to fire for a second. The problem with, with these elemental swords, like the Lightning Zwei and Quaylogs, what I'm happy about is that we now have a fire and lightning option. So depending on what we're fighting, if something is, is weak to one of those things, we have options. Alternatively, we've got the plus 15 Balder Sword and the Black Knight Halberd and the Black Knight One-Handed Sword as just raw damage. The problem with these options, though, is you probably can't rock them full-time because certain enemies... I'll just... Uh, so, like, the Fury Sword, if you look at it, it only does 90 base damage. Most of the damage comes from fire damage. So, what ends up happening is if you find something that's resistant to fire, your sword becomes virtually useless. And unless you have another sword equipped, which you probably don't because of the weight requirements, um, you're probably just gonna die or have to run away because you don't have the right weapon equipped because your elemental damage isn't cutting it. Oh, wait, I have to go find her summoning thing. It's over here. I will say, Havel the Tank got us through four kings. What, they've never met an enemy with poise before? I guess not. Wearing the Mask of the Father is only an option when you want to become the legend. Isn't she supposed to have a summoning sign over here? I have the broken pendant, don't I? I definitely picked it up. There's a sign near a tree. Hmm. She didn't die, right? We we got her out of that golden thing, and then she's like, look for my summoning sign around here. You need to be human for it. Once you get the pendant, she gets kidnapped. Okay. Got it, got it. Well, hopefully she didn't have anything too important to say, because she's gone now. I read your comment as once you get her pregnant, she gets kidnapped. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, okay. 
okay. Why, we're always examining things and then we get sucked into them. There's never like a, enter gracefully. It's just like, no, we're gonna drag you in. All she does is sell sorcery, okay. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Did you summon your princess friend? No, that's what we were just talking about. She, Her summoning side was missing because she's already been kidnapped, I guess. Wow. Okay. Boss already. Okay. Sword and shield for now. Ah! Oh my god, we're in water and he shoots lightning. Is it weak to fire? We're gonna find out. If not, we're probably gonna have to reapproach with, uh... I mean, he shoots lightning, so I imagine he's not weak to lightning? Oh no, he poisoned me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not the right weapon choice. Stop. I just need to take the hits. I just need to take the hits. What am I doing? I've talked about this. My shield can take every single thing he does. I was going to say, that would be the perfect time to... That would have been the perfect time to heal, but the splash just knocks you back. Yeah. Cut his tail? I could try. Uh, let's go just typical. We don't need this. Poise seems like a good option. Or we could do the lightning protection ring. Actually, I'm definitely going to do lightning protection. Yeah, this thing... It actually means they could be vulnerable to lightning. Interesting. Yeah, it didn't seem like uh, fire was uh, doing that great for us, so I'm just going to go plus 15 for now. We'll see what happens. I'm curious to see how much this lightning resist actually helps us. It looks pretty effective. I could also change a shield to something more lightning resistant. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take your swings. I'm trying to learn where the best option to do damage would be. It seems like right here. Oh my god, yeah. Look how much more damage we do. This guy is just resistant to fire, I think. Got it! Right, he does four attacks and then he sits. Okay. The Lightning's Y-Hander might be a good choice here, just because, again, I've ruled out fire. Fire will not work. Lightning, maybe. Uh, I'll never be using a magic weapon, because I have not leveling int. I think, oh, this you can just walk from. You don't have to roll. Rolling is actually worse against the individual ones. That one I can take on the chin. Lock your shields and defend yourselves! That lightning won't get through. Well, a little bit. All right, that's a roll, and then we get in there for big damage. One more. Almost got him. Didn't quite have the reach. Balder Swag Sword, baby. Go, 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 go. Got him. Yeah, that when he lifts up to do the knockback attack, that's definitely the best time to to run in. You can use Dark Hand as a shield. That's a good reminder, but you're right, because that I, we were looking at that last time. Because it, you can use it as, an, as a weapon to suck humanity out of people, but the resistances are really high, comparatively. Yeah, that would have been an extra 15% extra resistance. Okay. Poise. <laughs> Baldur's Side Sword, man. It's gotten us through some of the toughest parts when... 
I've thought, like, oh, look at this really cool boss fire weapon we've got. Nah. I don't, wait. This is the opposite of where we want to go. 